So I wanted to make a follow-up video with a post I made earlier. Um, so I I am formerly a sheriff. I I did serve as a sheriff, um, also as a deputy in uh, police department, federal agencies, um, military veteran, and other things. Right now, uh, the wife and I we we are uh, raising raising beef. Uh, it's been my dream, and finally got to a point in my life where we can do that. Um, but that's not the point of this video. So, little little education on on the sheriff. A lot of people don't realize that the sheriff is the most powerful man in the country within your county. What that means is doesn't matter who comes into your county. State police, police department, game warden, federal agent, FBI, ATF, um, the president, doesn't matter. If, um, if any of those agencies or any, any part of government wants to come in and, and infringe on our constitutional rights, shred the constitution, whatever you want to call it, the sheriff has the authority and duty to, to put an end to that. Um, I, I think it's very important that, that we not only call our local sheriff. Now, if you do call your local sheriff, you need to let them know you support him. Um, they need to know that they have our support. That's a very important detail. Um, you know, it's time it's time to put the politics aside. And, and primarily, I think unless you're in a really large county, uh, the sheriff should be able to do that. Um, something something I did this morning was I called I called the local, not the local. Um, each state has a sheriff's association. Uh, some states have have uh, association of deputies, law enforcement, different different things like that. But uh, like here in New Mexico, we have sheriff's association. That's for that's for the sheriff to join. I don't know if deputies can. I I left law enforcement uh, last month sometime, and uh, I never looked into it. But I called the association. I I you know, I praised him. I said, you know, here in New Mexico, all the sheriffs stood up and basically put the governor on notice that they're not going to, they're not going to enforce these red flag laws. Wonderful, man. I mean, I, I love, I love our country. I cherish our country. I cherish our freedoms. And when I see an elected official, especially in law enforcement, standing up for our rights. It's just, it's a wonderful thing. Um, and I, you know, I made the parallel that right now our first amendment rights are being trampled. We can't go to church. Um, businesses are being closed. Uh, quite possibly many of those businesses are failing right now. Uh, I have five kids. I live 80, 90 miles out of town. And when I go to the grocery store, my wife goes to the grocery store, we're limited to one gallon of milk. Yet, all of these dairy farmers are dumping their milk. Um, poultry farmers are destroying their birds because they can't market their, their, their chickens. Um, Pigs are being destroyed because they they have nowhere to sell them. Yet you go to the grocery store. I can't speak for the rest of the country, but here in New Mexico, there's no meat. You can't buy beef. You can't buy chicken. You're limited to one carton of eggs. Um, there's it's a serious problem, and if if we don't turn this around quick, 
we're going to have a food shortage, a very serious food shortage in this country. Um, you want to spend $20 for a carton of eggs next year? $30, $40, $50 for a carton of eggs next year? Um, I don't. I mean, we have chickens. I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to see that happen to this country. Um, you know, it's, it's a very crucial time right now that the sheriffs stand up and assert their authority. Um, you know, when I was a sheriff, I remember, uh, a couple of FEMA guys came into the county to assess our readiness for emergency preparedness. And we toured a couple, couple farms and, um, one of the, uh, one of the guys slaps the grain bin and he says, yeah, if we ever have a national emergency. We'll just come in and put a lock on this and seize all this grain. And, you know, I was a sheriff at the time. So let's not get this out of context. I looked at him and I said, that's a good way to get shot. And he, he was kind of shocked. I said, you or anybody else is not going to come in to this county where I am, uh, where I took an oath to protect the rights of these citizens. And you're not going to come and seize from them. You know, you can't just come in and do that kind of thing. Um, that that is the kind of leadership and that is the kind of thing that these sheriffs need to do right now um you know we don't need to set a precedence for um our rights to be trampled right now um for them to tell us you're not an essential worker who are you to say this is america this isn't this isn't communist china you know in in the news when all this stuff was kind of building up there you know, all the news media was pushing all of the draconian measures that, that China is taking is is working. And this was right before, you know, probably mid beginning of March, end of February. I looked at my wife. I said, they're they're right now. They are the media is conditioning us for that kind of thing to happen here. And um she kind of laughed at me, but here it is happening. Um, enough is enough. You know, we need to draw a line in the sand. And uh, if need be, let the government know that they no longer have the consent to govern. I, I don't want it to get to that point. Um, I pray that it doesn't. But, um, you know, it's we the people. We own this country, uh, not not the pe not the people that we chose to um, govern. You know, like I said, call call your local sheriff and start off by letting him know how you appreciate them, how you appreciate what they do. Um, you know, they risk their lives every day. Every day, I got got up and went to work, and I put a vest on. Um, I was kissing my kids for the last time and I was preparing myself to not come home. And that's what these guys do every day. And, um, we really need to show that appreciation, but they need to know that they have your support. Uh, beyond that, you know, call, call the sheriff's association and encourage them to get together and, uh, stand up for, you know, us standing with our sheriff, you know, we all need to stand up, but all the sheriffs need to stand up together um, and and put the government on notice that, you know, here's the line and we're not going to do it anymore. Um, it's people aren't stupid. They're going to the grocery store with gloves on, with masks on. You know, everywhere I go, people are extra courteous right now. Um we don't need to have food shortages uh, coming up. We don't need to have small businesses being shut down and people losing their livelihood because the, the end result of that 
is going to be tragic. Um, anyways, and I would, I would encourage you guys to pray, pray that, um, this passes quickly. Um, this will be the last point that I make. Um, you know, here in America, we have such a security, such a perception of security. And so, um, the things that are kind of happening in this country right now is business as usual and has been for the past hundreds of years for other countries. As far as totalitarianism, this, is that even how you say that word? <laughs> um, been a long week. We, we just got done with branding. Well, we still got a couple more to brand, but, um, you know, so I think a lot of Americans are in shock right now. I think a lot of Americans are scared. And, and, you know, I don't blame anybody for being scared right now. It is, uh, I, I know that I was, I was pretty, pretty worked up when it first started going on. I thought, man, we're going to get this and my kids are going to be parentless. And, but you know what, you, you really got to take a step back and, and try to approach things with wisdom and, and, uh, be calm about things. Uh, you can't get worked up because, uh, when, when you panic, you make stupid decisions. And I think that's what, a, what our government is doing uh, if, if we're b giving them the benefit of the doubt. I, I think it's more than that, but um, I'll, I'll reserve that to myself. Uh, anyways, call your local sheriff. Let them know that you support them and respectfully demand that they uphold their, their sworn oath and they, they take our Constitution back. Um, and let them know that you support them and you're standing with them. Anyways, um, God bless. And, uh, you know, don't, don't forget the sacrifices, uh, that, that people in the past have made for our freedoms. Uh, just look at the story behind the Star Spangled Banner. Uh, there's videos on it. You can go read about it. Uh, but you know what? Right now is the time to get fired up for freedom. Right now is, is the time to... Uh, wake up and lose our complacency and, uh, you know, be grateful for our freedoms and, uh, and to stand up before we set a precedence in this country. Even if this passes and, and it doesn't get any worse, uh, it's going to set a precedence. And the next time something comes up, they're going to take a larger step and a larger step. Anyways, I know I keep rambling. Um, I've never made a video for, for any kind of purpose like this before. So, um, again, just encourage your sheriff let them know that you support them and, and respectfully uh, demand that they, that they step up and they stand together. Uh, anyways, God bless and have a good day.